welcome to this week's edition of Video Game Tips. Today we're going to be playing Big Box Safari, which is a wonderful game. The first thing you need to know about this game though is put quarters in. Video games have this thing where if you don't put the quarters in, they don't work so well. I'm going to put a dollar in. I'm also going to put a dollar in. about this game is strap up. Jesse and I have to catch bayonets to our guns. It's going to be necessary because it gets pretty gritty in there. Anything else you want to add? Uh, it doesn't hurt to have a backup knife or two oh. as well. I've got one taped to my jacket. I've also got one got in my coat. I got one in my boot too. I'm going to put one between my teeth too. <laughs> Just so I know I'm safe. Alright. The first thing you need to know about Big Buck Hunter is if you want to play with two players, you've got to select two players. If you want to just play with one player, select one player. Pretty common sense. <laughs> Broken. <laughs> okay. okay. Two players, like I was saying before. Also, uh, you want to start setting this up? Sure. Uh, we're going to be doing uh, two player. Uh, what the hell is this? Is this competitive mode? I don't even know. I'm not good at this game. We're going to do that. All right, I'm also going to attach a repeater to my rifle so I can fire faster. I'm going to use a Pilot G2 for this. Use whatever you like. Now be careful. Oh, yeah, always go for the buffalo. First thing you need to know about Big Bucks Safari, go for the buffalo. They're the most vicious and deadly and uh, uh, opponents. <laughs> Now there's these beautiful women that appear between the game, uh, in between the missions on this game. And we're going to shoot them, not because we hate women, but because we hate the vile stereotypes that they perpetrate. And we're trying to protect our women folks from negative embodiments. I'm getting ready. This thing's got a nasty kickback. Yeah. So what you want to do is put it in a good position. I'm not going to do that. I'm going to throw caution to the wind. Isn't that the zebra that beat up your mom? Oh, he's gone. Oh, <laughs> fuck. Saturation fire is very important. <laughs> oh, kill this one. He's dead. Leave the cops alone. Oh, fucker. Fuck. Alright. I was going for the cow. Who cares? The game doesn't like it when you shoot cows, but in real life, they're just as deadly as the bulls. <laughs> Like I said, <laughs> fucking stereotype. <laughs> oh shit, I think we're gonna have to use the same gun here. Alright. <laughs> Unless you wanna keep going. We still not fucked up the menu, and Jesse's gonna have to pretend he's playing. <laughs> <laughs> Four percent accuracy. That's good. That's, that might be the right. Yeah, it doesn't look good, but it's good. Too. Oh no, Steve, you're repeater. <laughs> I don't even need it. <laughs> that happens sometimes. I think we're doing pretty good. Yeah. Thanks for uh, having this impressive fire. Really. Good. I'm starting to feel a little shell shocked. <laughs> oh, you know, you need to boost up here. You need to lubricate our swords. Ah! <laughs> it's another important facet of this game. Yeah, make sure you're properly. Uh, it's a rough world up there. 
that's cool, bro, son. You are the only monkeys. You are good at this. Give him some suppressing fire daintily. <laughs> now I'm going to tell you about a move for this game that only the professionals should mess around with. This is a dangerous move, but if you're ready to amp up your game a little bit, Try the buddy cock. What I'm going to do is fire one handed my buddy here, Jesse. He's furious because his arm was taken off by a buffalo. He's going to be cocking it while I fire. Horrors of war. He's tormented. Bail me. Bail me. That was uh, just setting up the game. All I need is one shot.